Ready, Ronnie? Yep, yep. Ready. Is the mic working? Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's a little I'm feeling a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Namaste ji. Namaste, namaste, namaste. It has been way too long. How long? About eight months, I think, since we posted our last video. And uh, yeah, I don't think we have taken this long a sabbatical from making videos, just generally from since we started making videos. So uh, both Bhati and I would like to thank all of you for the patience, uh, for your patience. And uh, we truly understand the frustration. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. So the big question is, what were we doing for the past eight months, right? Um, you see, there comes a point in time in everyone's life, and it will come in yours as well, um, where you start working towards uh, owning a home or, or buying a home, or like in our case, uh, building a home from scratch. And, uh, and it's a very special moment, uh, or I should rather say it's a special process, you know. Um, a process which is full of learning, full of joys, full of mistakes, um, improvement, transformation, um, and even self-awareness to a certain extent. Uh, but at the end of it all, you know, once it's all ready, once it's all done, um, I can firsthand say uh, that it just leaves you with, you know, uh, it's extremely rewarding firstly, and it leaves you with a sense of uh, ownership, responsibility, appreciation, um, uh, acceptance, and uh, even accomplishment. So with that being said, Welcome to R&B Studio slash home. So building a new home is like being on an emotional roller coaster. And trust us, man, these past five years um, and these last eight months, especially leading up to it, have been quite a ride. So the entire structure, uh, the skeleton part of it was completely designed by my dad and he's really good with like woodwork and very tasteful. Uh, so the ceiling that you see behind me, this cathedral-like wooden ceiling is completely his masterpiece. In terms of uh, interior design, both Bhati and I had very, very different like ideas. I wanted to go for more of a mountain uh, cabin sort of a look with like very earthy colors, muted colors. And Bhati wanted to go for like a very eclectic, vibrant, uh, you know, almost like a bohemian vibe. So you were kind of struggling to bring these two sensibilities uh, together, you know. Enter Sherab Tharbas. Serendipity, as they say. When we saw this girl's work in and around Manali, both Bhati and I were like, this is the girl who's going to bring our vision to life. And almost immediately, we started exchanging ideas, all different kinds of mood boards and references. And uh, after which she put out this beautiful animated walkthrough of our entire future home. Now this is where the roller coaster begins. First, it's full of excitement. The planning phase, you know, when you are envisioning your dream home. Because you can actually see it on the screen. And as you finish each phase of construction, the anticipation starts building up, you know. Uh, Bhati and I like to call this the honeymoon period, where everything is on track, everything is smooth sailing, no hiccups, but at the same time, it requires your undivided attention. Slowly but surely, you know, the stress and the frustration starts kicking in. Uh, you know, you start uh, overshooting your budgets, um, timelines are going for a toss, um, workers are gone, basically just things are not going your way. And when you least expect it, the universe throws you a googly. So earlier this summer, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. And initially, like, I didn't know how to react to that news. All I knew is that I had to go into soldier mode, like put on the bravest face I could and just tackle everything that, that was to follow. Luckily, he had the most amazing doctors and his treatment was, went off really smoothly and he made a full recovery like very soon. But while all of this was going on, like my mind was 
just in chaos, right? Like it took quite a lot of time to come back and regain my composure and stop feeling vulnerable, or stop thinking about the uncertainty of the future. And with all of that going on in my head, like the thought of coming on camera and like maybe talking to you about what had happened or anything else at all, like it just felt really strange. And it's like how the roller coaster sends you into one loop after another loop, right? Like once my dad had settled down and I was ready to come back to Manali, that's when the floods hit. Monsoons, man. Ab, shuru karu main? Like, you guys have seen the devastation. I don't think I need to show you any kind of footage out here. It was crazy, man. And the weather patterns I feel in the mountains are changing so much. I guess generally in the world they're changing so much. I mean, we had rain incessantly. Incessantly? Yes. <laughs> All the way from Jan till September, it was just raining constantly, like, you know? Bad news, devastation, havoc, landslides, rock falls, just everywhere. And it was a very, very hard time for Manali that time. Manali had come to a full standstill. But at the same time, you know, I feel like Manali had never looked more beautiful. Like, if you just tilted your head up, I mean, there was such beautiful cloud dancing happening every single day. It was just gorgeous, man. Um, and there was this one day, you know, there was this whole cloud burst that happened right in front of our house. And I've seen these things in Goa and like in the, in the seaside, but never like in the mountains. It was so goddamn beautiful. Now, Andar se to man bought kar raha tha ki, like, you know, let's go out, let's make videos, but it was too dangerous to go out. Uh, plus, you know, my mind is, is just stuck here in construction, workers, um, Bhati is stuck in Delhi. So that I just wasn't in the right mind space to make a video. And even if I did make a video, it would just be very, you know, almost very fake types. <laughs> and then finally, that day came when we actually had to move in. I think it was uh, somewhere late September. And uh, Pandit Ji had a date diya tha and he was like, Kuch bhi karke, tranda do aur ye khatam karo tum log, because you have to sleep here on this day, ye shubh din hai. So, yeah, we gave the tr tranda is basically a full acceleration in Himachali. And then, just like that, one day we woke up and uh, autumn had turned into winter. It was uh, only the last month of November, actually, once everything had settled down and we had put all our systems in place, is actually when we started living here. And we really, really, we're enjoying this time, um, just being independent, you know, in our own space, being our authentic selves in different spaces, you know. Um, I was just making music, Bhati was cooking, or well, both of us were just cooking like insane people, just cleaning, just taking care of this house, you know, that sense of ownership, responsibility has started creeping in. And uh, this is almost like a second honeymoon for us, for Bhati and me, you know, we were really enjoying this independent time because all our lives we've lived like in on, on rent, right? And even the last five years while we, while we were building this comp uh, this channel, we were staying with our parents so that independence is not there. So, you know, bus ghar ghar khelne mein maza tha, very domestic living. And, uh, you know, even though that anxiety was slowly creeping in, ki we have a YouTube channel, man, we need to get back to it. And Bhati was like, just chill, relax. And she told me, you know, um, sometimes you you have to pause the, what you consider to be the reality of your life to actually let real life happen to you. And then comes the final part of the roller coaster. Uh, this is when you start feeling pride, um, joy, nostalgia, accomplishment, and even a bit of attachment, you know. Because I think it's not just a house, it's, 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 actually, it's actually a tangible symbol of your hard work and vision over the years. But most importantly, home is where you are most comfortable being your absolute self. It's where you're treasured and celebrated for all the unique flaws and quirks that make you authentically you. So there you have it. That's where we were lost for the last eight months. Uh, and you know, each one of you is going to embark on this journey at some point in your life. And uh, what seems like a very big endeavor right at the beginning, I feel uh, you eventually figure it out by firstly taking the opportunity, by making the mistakes um, and uh, trying to control everything and then realizing that you were never in control anyway. And I feel you reach a point where you just uh, completely surrender and uh, deep down inside know that everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. Um, it, it always kind of does. Oh,
That's allowed. You can't. That's allowed, yeah. But that's not okay. <laughs> that's allowed. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Okay, 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 wait. Let you move this one over here. Then I'll try and bring this one over. Okay.